Hello everybody, my name is Snakebite Gaming. Welcome back to another LEGO video. Today we have this mobile base huge truck. Here it is next to my custom minifigure down here. That's him just next to the tires. So, it's pretty big. It's a um, futuristic style truck, so there's not... So, it's, yeah, it's futuristic, so. Up here we have a cannon. I'm going to start by going from the top down to the bottom. Look at the front, the back, and then the other side. So, we'll first start up here at the top. Here we have this railgun-styled artillery cannon that my dad built. He helped me with this build. And, um, so it. Like I said, it's futuristic. This whole truck is run on plasma power. And so this this would basically, these rods in here would charge. Then it would shoot that charge off into the distance and that would land somewhere and cause an explosion like a normal artillery shell would, except it's plasma. So, and then you got the little cockpit back here for the driver to sit in. And then, yeah, so let's pop this off and we'll take a look at what's underneath it. So, there's the turret. And then, so here we have the little disc for the thing to ride on. And up here, at the front, we have this little ladder. It can be a ladder. It, um, I like to think it's almost like a spotlight. Or satellite dish. Whichever one you want to think it is. But, this also does extend, like, super high. Like that. So we'll just collapse this back down and fold it back up. So, and then I like to put all this little detail in. You'll see this throughout the build, like little, just like little um, pipes, and these look cool, but they're also help lift off the roof. We'll look at the inside at the end, and then I got like lots of lights and everything. Like there's lights around here. More grates. Just lots of detailing and stuff. Okay, so let's look at the back now. So here we have this little drone pad. Like I said, lights. And this little drone just pops off. You can fold out the wings. Like that. And there's the little drone. So, yeah. He's pretty cool. And then I put um, some... Warning stickers around the landing pad, and then there's just that one by one stud right there, and then he just kind of pops onto the top and folds up like that. If I could get him to stay on, there we go. Okay, so now we'll take a look at this side. So we'll start at the front up here. So we have this nice flap, mud flap sort of thing in the front. We have this cooling unit on the side right here, which this, because it kind of looks flat right here, so I just put this little cooling unit and just stuck that on the side, like that. And then we have a window here, you can sort of see in through there, and then just more detailing, another small heating cooling unit, whichever one you want, and then uh, adjustable flap on the side here. Okay, and then we'll move over here. Again, it is a futuristic truck. So this is the shield generation side. So this side would take a lot of power when it's running. But this side would put up a shield around the entire truck. So there's lots of lights down here. There's two. I don't know. Just lots of detailing on this side. Because it, it looked kind of flat without it too. So then we get over to the back side. We got this nice um, stuff right here. Another bar. Um, what do you call it? Thing right there. I don't know what to call it. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> and then another mud flap in the back. And then there's my custom character again. We'll take him and then move him to the center of the truck. So there's the size compared to him. We'll even put him on the top. So, yeah, it's a pretty big truck. We'll take him and move him off to the side now. So, 
Now next we're going to take a look at the back. So let me turn this whole thing. So, in the back here, sorry it's kind of dark, but in the back here we have some, the mud flaps of course, and then the lights, and then some, oh I forgot the name of those again. But anyways, we'll take a look at the back here. That's a bit better. So, and then we'll just flip this down and then you can sort of see inside right there. This is the garage section of the car. So, if we pull this out, this is a little ATV. Okay. So, let's flip the car around so you can take a look at the opposite side of the shield generator. So, here we go. So, on this side, you can obviously see that there's a big difference from the shield generation side. Like, there's these boxes here, which I'll get into in a second, but the back is mostly the same from the last side and the front. See, same cooling unit and everything, same flaps, but in the center here is where you really get to the difference. So, as you can see, there's kind of an indent here, but if we take this little bar off right here, set that to the side. We can pull out one of these crates. We'll pull out this one first. And here we have a little heavy handheld weapon and then we have a little assemblable rocket launcher. Here, I will pull this out and put it together. So we got this part, that part. I might do a little um, mini tutorial on this rocket launcher. If we get five likes, I'll do a tutorial on the rocket launcher. How's that sound? So, we have the front part and then the back part. So, it's, it's, it's hard to put this thing together one-handed. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Let's put it up against the truck right there, and then we'll put it together. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can hold it in place somehow using the truck. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we got that. And then over here is the little rockets. So, and then I'm just gonna... Okay, so I got my minifigure here. Just grab him. And then, this is the rocket launcher. Like I said, I'll do a tutorial on it if I get, if we get five legs. So, and then, this just snaps into his hand. Well, he's got swords on his back, but you get the point. It just snaps onto it. Um, like I said, I'll do a tutorial on it if we get five legs. Okay, so, just put this back in here. Snaps there, flip that out, put that in there, and hold that back. So, and there's that little crate. Close that up, and put that back. Now we'll look at this crate. In this crate, we have some firearms, like there's a sniper rifle, there's a three rifles in there, and then over on this side, we have medicine, tranquilizers, if the camera would focus. Come on. Here we go. So we got tranquilizers and medical supplies in there. And then there's a tranq gun up there, and then there's a fire extinguisher. So that one's not... So that one's just more of a holding device for all that. Then down here, we have a little drawer. With some tools in it. And we'll just put this out for a second. So you got all your little crowbars, harpoons, and stuff in it. And there's a the little drawer. Just put all this back in. Without anything rolling away. The jackhammer is a little hard to fit in there, but you can do it if you just kind of angle it that way. So, and then 
Come on, camera, focus. Thank you. Okay, put that in there and flip that back. Okay. So, oh, wait, and then we got the beam. We got to put the beam back on. Just to hold everything in place so it doesn't fall. Okay. So now we'll look at the front. And then we'll pop off the roof. So here's the front. Lots of lights and everything. Because I like lights. There's a little tow hook there. Or whatever. And then more lights up here. Lots of grates. Finally, remember the name? Lots of lights. That should be bent in. Lights here. And so this is a futuristic truck. So there's not that much of a um, windshield. But there's lots of stuff all detailed around. So then let's get this back into a position where we can see. And the front popped off. Well, that sucks. I'll be right back. Okay, then I'm back. I popped back on the front. So now we're going to take a look in the inside. So let's move this a bit closer to us here. Oops, sorry. Okay, and we'll pop off the top here. And then we'll pop off the... <clears throat> the front top and you can immediately see s some details in the inside and we'll just you know, actually we'll pop off these crates too so you can get a better view in there so we'll start up here at the front so up here at the front we have a little um two little beds here with a ladder on the side and these beds are lofted off the ground so we'll just pop those out for now Set those aside. And then up here is the driving port area, whatever you want to call it. And so, since it is a futuristic truck, if I, okay, okay. There, there would be a hologram that would go around in a circle here. That would show you a what, what it would normally look like through a normal car. So, and then... We'll take a look back here. There's a oh, there's a little gun rack right there that doesn't have anything on it right now. There is a little screen, if you can see it right there. Little radar detection. And there's this flip-out screen, which I really like. This is a little flip-out screen. You can adjust it. And then there's um, just a little work table there. I used one of the pieces from a little... Um, this was from a... TIE Fighter set, I think. It had a little base on it. Just a little tiny little thing. Came with that screen, so I, I used it in a previous build that I tore apart, so I just used it for that. Got a little keypad there. Um, whatever that thing is. Another small computer. A uh, gauge for something. Probably fuel levels. And then, since this car is supposed to be run on by like a, at least three people from the seats up there but probably more so and then so this back here is the garage like I said before so you got that car in there just slides back in see if you can see it from this side see that okay so now let's I'm gonna turn this thing around so I'll be right back okay so I turned it around and We'll start back up here at the front again. So here we have another little flip out screen. Now this actually um, would flip out so you could actually watch TV or something when you're laying in bed. There's a little research desk right there. Like there's a little huge magnifying glass, a little computer. And then back here is a little egg incubator for some dinosaurs. So you got a little screen right there. That originally came in one of the crates that came with the set. Came in this crate, but I modified this. And then back there, there's a little crate right there that has some food in it. So, yeah, that's mainly the main truck. Let's put these beds back in, and I can show you how this... Whoa. Um, I'm going to put these beds in, and then I'm going to show you how that screen works. Okay, so the beds are in. And now, if we flip this up, there's a little screen right there. Which would sit around here because that's where the roof is, and then, like I said, you could watch TV in bed. But oh my, everything's falling apart. Mm. 
Sorry about those bad camera angles. Oh my goodness. This screen. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, well, I'll be back once I get the roof back on. Okay, I got the screen back on. We're not going to cut to where the roof is because I want to see, I want to show you how big it is compared to my minifigure. So that's him in there. So, yeah, it's pretty decently sized. Um, this is custom, like I said, and well, let's just try to get everything back in place. So we'll start by well, we'll start by putting the crates back in on this side. So, whoop, that in, and you can see the crates from this side too. So they just kind of sit in there. There's a little bar from stopping them. We're going out too far. Then we got to put the beam back on to stop them from falling out because that was a problem okay and then now we can put the roof back on put the centerpiece on first so then I, I did do an easy pop roof so it's easier to come off just wanted to say that before I put the roof back on but now everything's falling apart again okay so and then we'll do the roof back on Okay, then we'll put the front roof back on. Okay. So, and then, last, we have the cannon. By the way, this does go all the way around. Okay. And then, just put my minifigure back somewhere. Right about there, looks good. And that was my truck. So. Um. If the comments are on this video, because for some reason, they haven't been on in the last couple videos. For some reason. YouTube. But, just let me know what you think if they actually work this time. But. Other than that, that has been my truck, and um, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, um, make sure you keep, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications on if I actually do um, upload on those days. But yeah, let's do another overview of the truck here on this side because I don't feel like flipping it around again and then but yeah and if um please like and subscribe if you're not already and then put notifications on so you don't miss those uploads and if you haven't noticed this video is probably not going to have my normal intro because I'm recording this on another device so but stay stay healthy and I'll see you in the next one.